اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In the last session, we developed this model with all lower order constructs. Now, the base model or the conceptual framework for this particular model is this here. We've got higher order constructs, then these are the dimensions of this higher order construct. These are the dimensions of internal service quality and these are already lower order constructs. Now, based on this, I designed this model. In this session, I'm going to assess the measurement model. That is the factor loadings, the reliability, the validity. And once you've got your model, the first step is to look at the outer loadings. So where are the outer loadings? Now, this is the graphical output. You can have loadings here. If you click, or select any of the construct and press Alt C and you will have your loadings here. You can rearrange as well if you click here. So what you have to do is just move it here and let me move the indicators so you select your indicators and move them to the left here like this and similarly you can do for the other constructs in the study as well so how do i see my loadings so what you can do is you can close it here just click tools and this will close giving you more space go to report and the first step look at the outer loadings. So where are the outer loadings? In the final results, you will have your outer loadings here. So these are your outer loadings. You can have them as list as well. I prefer this one when I'm reporting my results for a research paper. Let's have this matrix here. Now look at this, all of it. Now look at this 0.649. Well, this is below 0 0.70, below 0 0.70, below 0 0.70, but do I need to remove this? Let's see. OC. Look at the reliability and validity of OC. OC. Is it reliable? Yes, it is. Is it valid? Yes, it is. So even though if I delete it, there is no improvement because it's already improved. So we do not remove an item just for the sake of removing it because its loading is less than 0 0.70. This has been discussed in a video in detail earlier i'm going to share the link you do not delete an item just because its loading is less than 0 0.70 you only delete it if reliability and validity are poor that is your convergent validity and if they are poor you delete it to improve it if they are already improved there is no need to delete it if the loading is over 0 0.40 in this case convergent validity is established reliability is established now these concepts have been discussed in detail in other videos as to what is reliability and what is validity the link will be shared now first step you assess your outer loading now the problem that i see here is assurance cc the order of the construct is very poor i would have liked my ivs first then my mediators then my dependent variables so how do i do this it's very simple go back here right click here rename and let's name it 01 decimal point or full stop and then press enter this is rename go to home 02 enter in space right click rename 03 full stop space and press enter similarly you can do for your mediators 04 full stop space and similarly do it for the rest of them let me quickly show you how it works then. So once you run it, go to report and have a look. Vision, development rewards, POS. This is how you can arrange the results. Now you can do it for the rest of them in your study as well. Now once in the measurement model, you have assessed the outer loadings and you can have any way to present it. You can have matrix format or list format. Now once you've done this, once you've done the loadings, the next step is have a look at your reliability and validity. So if we come here, click here, you can have overview or you can have the graphs. In this case, let's go for overview. Look at the alpha values all over 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.7. And this value will fall between these two values and AVE values greater than 0 0.50. So yes, we can say the reliability and validity is established. The items are converging, are coming together to measure the underlying latent variable. And the scale is consistent. 
Once you are done with the reliability and validity, the other form of validity is discriminant validity. Heterotrait, monotrait ratio, all green. Yes, although this is over, slightly over 0.85, but it is less than 0 0.90 and its ratio is higher with its own construct or another dimension of its higher order construct. So empathy and responsiveness are both the dimensions of internal service quality. That's the reason it is slightly high. For the Nalaka criterion, this value here, square root of AVE for VIS is higher than all these correlations. That is the correlation of vision with all the other latent variables. So within variance or within construct variance is higher than the shared variance. Is this the case for all of them? Well, it looks like it. Yes. So discriminant validity is established. Look at the cross loadings. ASR1 here is ASR1. So ASR1 is loading well onto its own parent construct in comparison to all the other constructs in the study. Similarly, let's look at EMP1. So EMP1, where is EMP? Here it is at the cross section. Here it is, sorry, this one here, EMP1. So EMP1.819, it's loading well onto its own construct than the other constructs in the study. Although it's loading well onto assurance as well, but still the discriminant validity was not an issue. And the reason it is loading quite high is that both empathy and assurance are sub-dimensions of a higher order construct. Again, you can report multicollinearity. This is for the outer model, that is your indicators. And this is for the inner model, that is your constructs. For now, let's go to the outer model. Although for reflective, you do not need to report it, but still, if you want to, you can report it with outer loadings. Just add another column, VIF. In the next session, I'm going to look into detail as to how to report this measurement model in detail. Now, we have assessed the outer loadings. We have assessed the reliability and validity, that is convergent validity. We have assessed the discriminant validity. The ratios are less than 0 0.90. Fallen and locker is good. Within construct variance is greater than the shared variance and the cross loadings are good as well. The VIF values are fine, less than 5. And that's about it. I hope this session would have helped you understand how to analyze the output from a measurement model. In the next session, I'm going to look into detail as to how to report this particular model. Thank you very much.